he man. Okay. Uh, okay, with well, the uh, no, just, yeah. You're on it for the prosecution? No, it's just me. Oh, James! <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> Nicholas Larambajadi, you're being charged with three counts of vandalism. How do you plead? Not guilty. Very well. Let's try it again. Your Honor, do it again. Your Honor, Justin Shaw, for the prosecution, we would like to point out that Mr. Maserati has had three counts of vandalism put against him, one for defecation on a private premises, one for vandal, two for vandalism. These are the third offences he's committed in the past two months. Mr. Larajati, where were you on the 15th of October? I was at home. Was anyone with you at your home? Uh, not particularly. So you don't claim to have committed these offences? Oh, of course not. Even though there is video surveillance and photographic evidence against you? Maybe I look like someone else. Your Honour, the court would like to present these photos of Mr. Maserati committing these offences. Thank you, Ms. Shaw. <clears throat> Mr. Lara Majority, uh, with all the evidence that I've seen today, plus the witness accounts, I'm going to tell you it's not looking good for you. Um, no, this is not fair. What? It's not fair. Stop. As an Aboriginal, I don't think Aboriginals are fairly represented in the legal system. I'm very angry. <laughs> I'm very angry. I don't think this is fair. I don't think this is fair at all. Mr. Murumbajadi, I don't think you realise what the courts are doing to uh, improve the Aboriginal people's situation. I don't think you realise what is happening. Your Honour, I completely agree. Aboriginals are getting just as fairly paid, just as fairly treated as normal Australians these days. I mean. We had Sorry Day, we compensated many people, we have Aboriginal housing developments, we have Aboriginal communities, we have Aboriginal scholarships available at the top schools in Adelaide. Yes, Ms. Shaw, that's correct. Plus, uh, recently we've set up a, uh, a kind of <coughs> a court focused on Aboriginal people. Uh, it's situated in Port Adelaide, it's very informal, it's casual, it's a more relaxed environment. Uh, we've been finding that we've been getting a lot more, uh, <clears throat> a lot more participation with Aboriginal people. This is just one of the many ways that we are helping to bridge the gap between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people in Australia within the court system. Swear on the Bible. Your house on 15th of October. <clears throat> well, pretty much. I was in I was in my backyard. I was working on my car, and I, I was just I was just pretty shocked to see this coloured fellow coming out from the back. Um, he's, <laughs> he's wearing. Stop. Mr. Falk, who did you see on your front lawn on the 15th of October? Well, I was, I was out the back working in my car, <coughs> and I was, I was, I was, I was, I was oh Mr. Falk, whom did you see on your front lawn on the 15th of October? Well, <coughs> I was pretty much in, in, in the backyard working on right, the car. Right, stop. She said... Mr. Falk, whom did you see on your front lawn on the 15th of October? Well, I was walk I was I was working working around the back of my car, and I heard some rustling out the front, and uh, I, I I pretty much pretty much went out there to check it out, and uh, I saw this coloured fellow, and he was just he was thinking around the place in the bushes, and I was like, what's going on here? So I, I went up to you know just see what was happening, and the guy was taking the guy was taking a shit in in my front yard, and I was just like, oi mate, what are you doing? And he was, he's just he just took off. He just bolted off and 
He just left this big fat turd there and <laughs> I, was, I was really shocked. I, I didn't know what to do. So I just ran, I ran, I ran the cops, I told, I, I, I put up posters Excuse around me, you don't seem to have answered my question. Who did you see on your front lawn? Was it the I saw this, I saw, I saw that coloured chap, alright? I know those type and they're no good. They're no good at all. Thank you. Your Honour, this case has been going on long enough. I feel that there is more than enough evidence to convict Mr. Maserati of these offences. And since he has no defence counsel, he is representing himself, I'd like to see that his sentence be moved up. I've had a hard life and a bad upbringing. I've been in trouble before and I've been to court before and the courts aren't a place for people like me and I think the legal system has made everything worse for me. I did not shit on anyone's lawn and I didn't commit this crime. The courts are trying to screw me over once again. Something has to be done about this. Nic Nicholas Laramajati, in light of recent events, <clears throat> I must conclude that your sentence be reprimanded as not guilty. Just be like, hey, Mr. Larry Majority, look, I gave you the court case, but you're not gonna, I'm not gonna allow you to poke my head like that. <laughs> Mr. Mr. I wouldn't Majority, poke that. You, 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 you public shitting monster. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you film that? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Mr. Larry Majority, could you please come to the front, please? Mr. Lambert please come to the help station. Your parents are waiting for you. Okay. Can I take it home as a souvenir? No, you may not. Why not? Because I said so. It's probably a long or something. Oh, maybe not. Let's take it off now. No! Don't. James. Actually, you can. I don't, man. You actually can. Don't! Would I get Stop doing that.